Well, it's going like a tornado <laughs> to see events after events. It's a, uh, it needs time to digest what, uh, what I see. But the, definitely the enthusiasm that I see among everybody, not just the participants, also the organizers, uh, means a lot. And the issues that have been raised in the whole dialogue is a very critical one. Uh, how to address the problems that we have around us. And uh, focusing on the young people is the right thing to do. Well, last night we had the whole gathering, uh, 4,500 people together. And among them many, many young people participating. So that's a kind of mind-boggling to bring people to listen to not political speeches where you round up your party workers to do the job. It's people who are interested and uh, willing to listen what you have to say, what, what the future is like for us, all of us uh, in the world. So that's uh, something, that energy that you created inspired people. And the energy that you created among the young people to be creative. It's a very important thing that how to be uh, addressing the problems that we see around us in a creative way so that we can go and get it done and that's very important. So to have the continuity of it every year to come back and see, revisit the thing, I think it's also very important to have and also bringing people from outside to look at it and give their views and give their experience, sharing their experiences with the rest of the people here. It's extremely important because uh, that's where the changes will come from, from the bottom. Uh, if you can energize the bottom people and give them the scope to bring out their creative power, particularly to the young generation of them, and uh, go out and do the things uh, to solve the problem that we see around us. And Deshpande Foundation has been working towards it. We have been trying to do it for many decades to address that in a very formal structures like Grameen Bank and other social businesses one after another. This becomes instances which inspires other people that you didn't even think about. Looking at you, what you have done, you'll be amazed how many other organizations getting uh, inspired by similar things and they will add their piece but still it's, it's inspiration which you have created uh, around you through your activities uh, which will initiate many other programs, many other ways uh, and that's the whole purpose. Uh, not only just limit to ourselves, also give a, a direction and the possibilities open it up and share with each other. You see, in, in our social arena of activities, there is no copyright or a patent right. Uh, we share everything. It's a, if you want to say copyright, we'll be saying it's a copy left. And instead of hiding things, we open it up. We bring people together so that we can share and improve and learn from each other along the way. We are addressing the life itself. Yeah. Life is not segmented. Uh, I'm in agriculture, I'm in manufacturing at the same time because I process things in my home, I make things for uh, selling in the market and so on. So it's, it's, it's a for uh, kind of uh, uh, academic purposes we divide things up, but life is a whole. It's a, it's a wherever we are, with the rural, urban, doesn't matter, peri-urban, anything. So we have to see that. And we may have advantage and disadvantage in addressing one part of life and another part. So that's a limitation from our side and not from the life side. Life goes on and uh, we make it happen. And we talk about the young people, for example. That doesn't mean that life ends after the youth. Uh, as if it is not, it continues. We should be also considering the old people, people who are uh, above a certain age. Uh, they have another kind of problem for themselves. Uh, they have enough ability, but it's still somehow they don't fit into any activities that we, they see around them. How to address that? So it's, it's all kind of thing comes into it. So it's, the focus should be the life, the central thing, how to make qualitative change in the life so that it becomes the beginning of a new life. Whenever you meet with each other, uh, a third dimension comes up. It's not the uh, kind of the sum of the two, it becomes bigger than the sum of the two. Multiplies. This is the thing. So let's bring people together, not only from outside, even inside. 
That's why we get together and see what each one has done. And listening to you, I get idea. And listening to me, you get idea. Suddenly we have more ideas than we begin with. That's a whole thing. So it's very important to bring people together and kind of look back what we have been doing. Uh, and then see the forward. What needs to be done? Where do we go? And it's one thing to individually look at it. Another thing, collectively look at it. And collective outreach is much bigger, much powerful as we can. So it's very important to have a dialogue like this, development dialogue for like this. Thank you so much.